Saturday again. We have gotten through the week without Sophie. She is back home, not quite in the way we want. But we're making it through it, and we want some cake to lift our spirits a little. Yeah. But our, <laughs> our oven, popping our breaker. That's what I'm trying to say, popping our breaker. And so what are we going to do? Go back to the old camping oven. Why not? We want cake. We don't have an oven. So we're gonna kind of show you guys a little bit about the camping oven itself. Yeah, why not? You know, make sure that you don't have anything under here that's going to catch fire because it can get warm under there. Unlikely, but... Un it's unlikely it would start anything on fire, but it can get warm. Here's the Coleman oven, which is a collapsible Coleman, a Coleman oven that you can find between 50 and 60 US dollars. It's definitely worth the buy. And this is the kind of cool thing we were talking about when we get the apartment that we're still gonna be able to do a little bit nicer lit reviews with less wind noise on some products that we enjoy from the rig life. And voila. All you do is open it up, each side flaps down to make it some nice little collapsible oven. And then you're ready to cook in it. Let's get this thing started. some mini cupcakes got some larger cupcakes up there cooling down and a large cake tried making a mug cupcake too um it worked but microwave. it yeah in the microwave it worked but it didn't work what we found out is it kind of cooks from the inside so you need to take it out earlier than you sit than it actually looked because it was super brown and hard when we put our spoon into it oh so today is february 27th i believe um yes and it's 2022 we are in our colorado springs apartment uh and it's been quite the journey to get to this point i just want to say kind of a recap on what has happened in the past month we started out with the devastation of losing our low top gmc 2004 savannah 1500 v6 van ronda she took a crap up in the mountains towards Cortez, Colorado by the four corners of America. Uh, we actually ended up scrapping the van and taking everything we could off of it, throwing it into a U-Haul, driving six hours back to Colorado Springs with my puppy, who then later within a week passed away of a miniature heart attack. Well, a heart attack, she's just tiny, so I, I say miniature. Um, she was just born with a heart murmur that we never knew about until it was too late and she died within 30 seconds. So, um, it was horrifying to lose those things and I really loved my van and I really loved my dog, but at the same time I would have traded my van 12 times for my puppy back. Uh, that's how much I loved my puppy. Like she was just that much to me and she's gone. And then on top of that, I was having medical issues uh, with breathing here at 6,600 feet above sea level, which is very abnormal for me. I'm from Wisconsin, uh, which is at sea level, so this is 6,600 feet above where I'm used to. But with that said, I, it took a toll on me with all the stress and all of the bad eating habits. I'd actually lost 26 pounds living in that van that I never knew. <laughs> I lost 26 pounds. I don't have 26 pounds to lose. If you guys can't tell, I'm insanely skinny. So uh, yeah, my health took kind of a turn and I went to the hospital about three times. And on my way, the third time to the hospital, we got into a car accident and crashed our little Honda, our follow car. 
Um, I crashed it. I was going downhill and couldn't stop because of a snowy road, a nicey snowy road, and it ended up sliding right into traffic and getting smoked by a car at like 30, 35 miles an hour. All of the side airbags deployed, and that's gonna cost us another couple grand in damages. But mom, dad, he's kind of exaggerating on the speed and the intensity. All right, the, the intensity <laughs> was not that bad. It was yeah, we lived. We I, lived. The car is the still car is fine. We can drive it. It's just a little messed up. And we got to get it fixed. It's no big deal. It's just going to take some money. And it is just a Honda Civic, so it's not going to be that much money. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we are on our way to go do something thrifting. new that we were excited for. It's thrifting. We're going to start picking this up full-time now, well, part-time. Um, because we have found that we are making a lot more money than we had anticipated. So we are going to continue to do it. Only this time, we're going to film it. We're just going to film inside the thrift stores, film what we're finding and what we're not grabbing, what we're grabbing things that we can flip for money and see how that goes. I'm just very excited to get out there and start thrifting because money is awesome. And the money that we make from the profit margin, we're gonna stick back into our thrifting business to make more profit margin. And once that's so big, we're gonna use it to build, uh, establish some shelving here in our living room for a shipment center and a picture center. And then we're gonna start selling things heavily on eBay as well just to kind of get ahead in whatever way we can. On top of that, my job also detailing auction cars allows me to see the car right from the previous owner and usually they leave things in there and they have no way of getting them ever back so we get to keep them. That's just a part of my job and I love that part of my job. I find tons of cool little things, mostly random but sometimes valuable and um, I just resell those things because why not? Why not get ahead in whatever way I can? So I detail, I thrift, and I resell things that I find while detailing. So everything you can, utilize any kind of tool you can to make as much profit as you can to bring us back to the rig as fast as we can. Here is the follow Honda's damage. We have some damage to the bumper, damage to the top panel here. This thing here is obviously been drug off and shit because it broke and I zip tied it up there on some of the parts but still hits the tire and just drags off that's okay it's cheap to replace but then back here is where the damage is accessible that I don't know if I'm gonna fix it because they have to cut this isn't just a panel they can just take out they have to cut it off and re-weld they'd have to cut it back here and then they would remove this whole panel I used to work at a body shop so I used to do this stuff to help people they can probably pull this dent though that's the thing the way this dent is made it's not so damaged that they can't pull it out. The, what they'll do is they'll stick a bunch of little things with glue and they'll just keep tugging on it until the entire dent actually comes out. So if they can pull it, then, then you're good. It's cheaper to pull it than to actually cut it. The bumper on the back does have this crack here and looks a little shifted. I'm just really hoping we didn't create any chassis damage because chassis damage would be where it gets very expensive. But all of these airbags, the doors, all of these airbags did come off, including the one inside the seat here. And all the way up here, they all popped off with this one here. So Definitely ex yeah, not, uh, the best. not the best. Bros, which is delicious. Uh, on the top of my cup, it says "Take a selfie." What does it say on yours? Get up early, stay up late, and change the world. And that is the truth. That is the truth. Right now, we are shopping at Party City for some Mardi Gras things for MJ to wear at work while she is uh, waitressing. Usually, you make a little bit more tips if you get a little bit more festive. So, spend a little bit to make a little bit. But yeah, we are just kind of bumming around. And it's just, well, I don't know, we were just talking outside and it's like, finally starting to be okay. Things are starting to subside and we're starting to see the positive in the every day. Yeah, we're starting to get back on our feet. <laughs> Finding our way in life. Colorado specifically, there are uh, more, another thrift brand other than Goodwill. It's called Arc. And uh, here's what it looks like. Which, uh, it's pretty big. They're usually pretty large. This one, I think, is one of the larger locations, though, in the Springs. Yeah, I feel like Arc is kind of Wisconsin St. Vincent's. Yeah, I mean, I actually did see the same thing used there here, though. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Is 
that VHS? Yeah, VHS. Two dollars for friends, that's a good deal. See some Blu-rays, Batman, Lincoln. I don't really buy too much of the like signed stuff just because I don't know really what the resale value of it is. But it's not to say that's not a bad deal if you were decorating your house. We don't like to liquidate things too often. Like we don't like to sit on things for months on end that's not gonna sell. So we try to get things that are gonna flip very fast. Do you know what this is right here? I do not. So you put a bottle, any bottle of liquor, you put it on here upside down and then you can use this as taps. And then you spin it and you have all these bottles of liquor. That's actually super cool. Yeah, my dad used to have one of those. <laughs> Alcoholic for the win. <laughs> can we hear the ocean? Oh, you can. A con signal for SpongeBob. This is very creepy, but Lakers. That's Canada. Uh, it looks like it. Uh, I don't even know. Because That's very cool. Very, very antique looking. Because I can't find any one like, like him. It's $500 right there. Holy yeah, like, crap. It, the style is the same. I just can't find the Lakers. We just got out of ARC and we ended up spending $45 uh, in to return to make about $115 estimated, which is $70 profit. Uh, we bought a Fortnite Nerf gun for $8. bucks. i am going to sell that for about $15. Uh, we bought an amplifier, a guitar amplifier for $15. That's worth around $60 to $70. Uh, we bought a vintage backgammon board. Uh, it's actually velvet on the outside and we've got almost all the pieces. We're just missing two little tiles. So we're think we bought that for six, thinking we can sell it for about 20 because it is vintage. It's very good condition for the most part. Um, and then we also got that kerosene lamp, which is very vintage, very rustic, something a lot of people look for in their decor. So we're thinking we can sell that for 20. 20 and then we bought it for about 10, nine, nine or nine, 10 bucks. Yeah. So yeah, overall, this has been a pretty good, I really like ARC. This is so far my favorite thrift store around here because it just, it's so big. And when you have a big space for them to liquidate so many things, they shove as much as they can on the shelves. They even have a little testing area to plug things in and make sure it all works before you buy it. So I plugged in the amp to make sure that works because a Dean's amp is like 60 to $80 and for $15, that is a sick deal. So that was definitely the biggest purchase I've made today. Uh, biggest profit margin. I don't know if we're gonna continue to thrift now that we've spent a little bit of money. We don't, we don't wanna have too much that because we don't have a store to sell it all off. We have to keep it in our apartment. We don't overbuy things. We try to buy just enough to have the space to store. Yeah. Get an axe. Edgar's friend? Yeah, that's the woman I met on the bus. Oh, uh, what you met on the bus? Oh. Imagine that. Yeah. I'm What'd out. you do? We are out to eat at Bingo's Burger. Uh, right here in Colorado Springs downtown and we were walking down that street down there you might see the police sirens we saw if you guys just saw the clip there was actually a lady that had a double-sided axe and was calling the police officers like six different police officers al-qaeda terrorists and they shot her with a taser and it was pretty priceless she rode the taser for quite some time before she oh, actually yeah. fell over, which was hilarious. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was kind of funny. She's like, that's not doing she's, anything. She's like, that ain't me. shit. And she like stands there for maybe a solid another 10 seconds until they were about to hit her again. And then she just literally lost all muscle control and just fell right to the ground. She did have an axe though. And she was screaming. Thank you so terror. much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Got a raspberry blondie beer. I've never had raspberry before. That actually beer. sounds good. And I'm going to try you want it. You want to try it? Go ahead and try it. She doesn't like beer, so maybe this is something she'd like. It is a 5.5%, so it's pretty big on the alcohol percentage. It's not the worst beer I've had. It's something I could handle for a couple sips. 
That's pretty good. Very oh. raspberry y though. <laughs> like, definitely tastes the raspberry. But then that, this is the taste of beer. That's the taste I like. The beer taste. More than the raspberry taste. <laughs> Give me my cream soda. Mm. But I have this water. It's not even noon yet. I'm already drinking. What does this mean? Not true. It's 12.23. Sweet. Already passed. Alright, then we're good. <laughs> it's Sunday. It's Sunday my day off. Monday. I got to edit a video today and play video games with uh, Living With Little K because he actually just got to Atlanta today. That's awesome. He lives in Atlanta now, no longer Phoenix. He's lived in more states than we did in the van. He lived in Phoenix, Wisconsin, Colorado, Navajo, Georgia. Cheers to Living With Little K, man. Keep up the travels. rig they come from france canada u.s mexico south america that's so okay we need it yesterday and this rig is insane they even got like an elevator lift for a deck they're just chilling in there that thing is absolutely incredible but i'm low-key stalking in the car because i'm too uh awkward to go and talk to them yep let's go we just got out of walmart and we what did we do? We exchanged all of the change that Yeti has brought home from work, and... It was $50 in change. $50 in change. Yeah. And we only got a bag full. Why? Because we only got what we needed for tonight, so tomorrow we can come back and use our food stamps. We never got, had food stamps before, but we never. got approved for food stamps now, so we actually will have enough money to be able to buy real food again, which is yes. going to be really, really nice. Very, yeah. very helpful. So nice to feel like we can be full and nutritious. Plus, they'll have money in our bank accounts. That doesn't make us always feel like every single penny just goes to surviving. I really, really enjoy that. And honestly, we, we actually, did you just tell them what we bought here? No, I did not tell them what we bought yet. We got some chips and queso, some veggies for tonight's dinner, which is going to be shrimp. But we also picked up a game uh, that MJ and I can play together because we started playing our Xbox pretty frequently now. And we find that we really enjoy it. We really enjoy being able to play video games again. And... We wanted to play a game together. She's not very into the war games and the Red I'm Dead I'm very Redemption. bad at Call of Duty. I have found that I'll play it, but I won't play zombies, which is what he wants to play. <laughs> so. So yeah, zombies is usually what I like the most because it's the hardest puzzle game. And I've played Call of Duty most of my life, so Call of Duty just comes easy in all of the ones. Even the new ones I haven't even played yet, I bet you I could jump on there and learn in a day, so... I know that you'll get to that level too of gaming One and be day. more and more intrigued as we yeah. time goes on. Maybe you'll get into some real puzzle games with me. Maybe. We'll see. But right now, he's willing to play just a racing game with me. Yeah, for it's now. Much, Bob. It's a uh, cart. What is this one? Cart it's Racers cart 2. Race. Uh, Nickelodeon Cart Racers 2, which is essentially like Mario Kart, but since uh, Nintendo owns the rights to Mario. Uh, 
Xbox had no choice but to create another game, and they've been doing games like this for, for many years, since the original Xbox. I remember playing Danny Phantom and Smash Bros. <laughs> kind of thing with my brothers down in the basement, so this is just kind of bringing us back to the good old times. Good morning, everyone. It is March 2nd, Wednesday, March 2nd, and Yeti is at work. I got called off because yesterday was Mardi Gras, so we celebrated Mardi Gras at my work, and I assumed that we just got so slammed last night that they needed this morning to uh, prep more food and everything for tonight, and we're not hectic <laughs> again. So, in the meantime, I have just been cleaning all over, uh, trying to pick things up, make sure it looks nice and clean in here because... Who wants to live in a dirty space? Anyways, I actually just finished sweeping the floor. And we have a broom that has no handle, so I did it all on my hands and knees, just like back in the van. And I realized we don't have a dustpan either. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the trusty old hand vac from the van. And it is a 12 volt, so what are we going to use? The good old Jackery from the van. So don't tell me that this stuff actually isn't useful in everyday life, because it is, and we still get to use so much of the stuff that we used in van life. It's great, we love it, and we can't wait to put it into our next rig. with Sophie being gone and everything that I don't want to pick up the camera too often but I have to you know that's part of content creation you get these moments where you're like unmotivated to film but that's the best time to film especially in the vlog world Absolutely. but you were looking at these places downtown I don't think they have a rooftop pool they might have a pool that one over no, there was, was flexing probably have... three grand a month Colorado oh, Springs so is more expensive out. than what it really needs to be but where was it crap if I eat that the vlog which is a corner bar. Not too bad. Not too expensive. Not too cheap. I'm about to flop. I have TV at every table. For real. I'm gonna watch the pack of games here. No. <laughs> yeah, you actually could that. I can throw this TV in that. They got a meal. Go up and scoop for this. Put on it. leaving the block and that sounds pretty dead on a Thursday night to be honest with you but our meter just ran out and our alarm was going off for a solid two minutes before I realized it was my alarm for that <laughs> so that was funny I just kind of got brainwashed with the, the notification alarm but that sounds pretty nice Colorado Springs I know we don't show too much down here um, probably because we never like film in public. We're always so awkward when it comes to filming in public. But the truth is, we just gotta break that third wall barrier. If yeah. you truly wanna be entertainers, especially self made content creators, you really have to put yourself out there. Being weird, Not standing there with the camera. What people think when they see you talking. It's business. It's a business. I'm full blown run this business. I'm trying to make my rent. Nobody's gonna make it for me. We didn't park that far, actually. I thought that it was a lot farther. No, not too bad. Casa Mondo. I, I live there. Ten out of ten. Full? Yes. So, should we go get more food? Ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that, we are back at the apartment. Not too bad. Um, the commute's pretty fast from the block downtown. We actually live probably ten minutes from downtown, so that's pretty convenient. What did you just order from McDonald's? A happy meal. <laughs> and it's literally marketably making you super happy. It is, because I'm getting a stitch toy with it. 
<laughs> I have not seen a Happy Meal in a minute. So if it doesn't come in the Happy Meal box, I'm going to be pretty devastated. I'm going to be pretty sad as well. Yeah, <laughs> it has to be the full legit experience. But today we are actually just chilling in Springs. It's Saturday on, um, what is it, March 4th? 5th? 5th? March 5th of 2022. And we are here look, right outside those mountains, the Rocky Mountains. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's your chocolate milk. Yeah, thank you. Oh. <laughs> That's mine. It's still super good. Thank you. You too. Jackass Forever, and that was hilarious. Absolutely. And I'm so excited. It's snowing. It is snowing, but I'm so excited for this actually. It's a Bob's Burger movie coming out, and it's three days before my birthday, so we're going to go watch it for that. I am very excited. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool because they're still making episodes of Bob's Burgers, too, so I've okay. mentioned in the movie in future seasons. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely Jackass Forever is worth going to see. It's really Absolutely. hilarious. Absolutely. Oh, it's cold. Let's get a couch and then uh, go home. We are at Walmart right now, and we've talked about this for like a day or two now. Um, getting a futon, just a cheap one. It's only about $170 new. And here's what it would look like when it's all built. Thicker than our mattress we have now. Plus it'll kind of bring us off the ground and provide us a couch until our couch gets back from Wisconsin. Barely fits on the cart and hopefully it fits in the car. It's super cold outside, it's actually snowing. So yeah, let's get this won't done. Take that long. Let's get to the apartment and hope that it fits in the Honda. Time to uh, put together our very first Colorado apartment couch. I'm pretty stoked, are you? I'm very excited. We're going to try and set up the camera here. Colorado 2022. Got a feeling. We can get by you, and I believe you. Now I'm taking different drugs to feel that feeling, and I can't see this addiction. I don't know what I've been doing. Nothing is correct. I can't be here. Tell me it's rumbling. I can barely even catch a breath before something negative is about to happen. Yeah. Do you know the feeling of struggling? I've been living in the streets and I'm suffering But I can understand this shit happens for a reason I am just a kid learning lots of lessons I've been through some shit, I'm still going through it I don't know when it's ever gonna be ending If it's with the last breath that I ever take Then know this, that I always try my best every day yeah, Every day yeah, every day, yeah, yeah. I know that I'm far from perfect. Never even said that. I never want to care about I'm not about lying. I hate every person. Never did that. Never been there. Never stood by me. Now I got five guns in my waistband. I don't trust the soul, not a person. Nah. Not a human, I'm like an alien, segregated, all up on my own planet. I'm breathing for no reason, that's what I suspected. Now I'm on the streets, I'm running still there for I ain't complaining. I'm a humble little kid, and I always been. And I ain't never changing, that's the heart of this. And if you don't believe the statements that I said, then be going back and re listen. It is Sunday, March. Six, I think. 
and I was supposed to work, but I woke up feeling very sick. And so I've been sleeping most of the day. Yeti's just been chilling on our new couch. Yeah, it's super nice. We have real furniture. <laughs> we slept on it last night out here, and uh, this is not quite as comfy as our actual bed, so we'll be sticking with our well, real bed out there. Yeah. Real bed. We say real, real bed, bed, but it's really just our van bed. <laughs> yeah, it's it. So he's just playing some video games, and Apex. I <laughs> Apex. And I am going to be making a cat scratcher because Ahab has nothing to scratch on in this entire apartment. So he's scratching up our furniture and we don't want that. So I'm going to take these old boxes that came with the um, couch and make a cat scratcher for him. scratching thing all made. We took some pictures, yeah. we made some food. We made mini parmesan sliders. He's just here playing some video you games. Burn down the house. But they're not to. too bad. Chicken nuggets, mozzarella, King Hawaiian rolls, and some pizza sauce. I got an escape pod. Pasta sauce.